My V2X definitely was kicking in. Feeling the burn, heart rate a little bit more. Squeeze. These kinds of exercises are building your six pack way more than you realize. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another Workout Wednesday and today's workout is completely entirely powered by Performix. I just got my V2X in as my pre-workout. It's gonna be long lasting energy. I have mixed my creatine and my intro workout, the BCAAs and the EAAs together for the during the workout session. This is what I'm gonna be sipping on. It tastes so juicy and watermelony, but that's not the real reason why, not for the good taste. It's for the benefits, the BCAAs, the EAAs to build. They are the building blocks of your muscle, right? So essentially what that's gonna do is gonna provide our muscles more energy throughout the workout to sustain the energy, the output, the quality of our workout. So with that said, we're gonna get into a full body workout, 30 minutes. We're gonna go a five minute warm up, and then we're gonna get into a 20 minute kind of higher intensity workout with a five minute cool down, put it all together. You can use this workout at home, in a park, anywhere you want. You don't need any equipment at all. We're gonna have a lot of fun, get through it. Listen to the cues so you know exactly where to feel it. I'll guide you along with the time. No such thing as rest, just focus on quality over quantity and we'll get a really good burn in. So grab your stopwatch, grab your mat, grab some space. Let's get down to it, have a lot of fun. All right, my friends, here we go. We're gonna start with a five minute workout. We're gonna go five different exercises for 30 seconds each. Two times through, no rest. Then we're gonna stop, we're gonna have a one minute break. Nothing too crazy here, we're just opening everything up, getting everything engaged before we go into the high intensity section. Let's do it, we're gonna start with a quad pull with a reach. So we're gonna take that toe, pull back, reach. Stabilize through that heel, pull back, reach. Get a good flex through the, stretch through the quads, through the hip flexors, reaching to stretch that core. 30 seconds, quality over quantity here, my friends. Getting some shoulder action in there. And the next one, we're going to go into our knee hugs, pulling the knee to the chest. Try to keep that chest straight up, staying through that glute. You can march with it as fast as you want. You can go as slow as you want, whatever you prefer. Last few right here before we go into inchworms. Here we go, inchworms. We're gonna be at the bottom of our mat. Walk it from our toes out to a high plank. Engage that core, walk back. Squeeze the glutes to the top, engaging those glutes. Some shoulder stability. Hold that pose. Walk it back, engage the core, engage the glutes. Get everything moving. Nothing too high intensity right here again. Just engaging. And next one, we're gonna go into our spider steps. High plank position. Walk one foot to the outside of the hand. Alternating each time. You can get a little lean with it there. Really opening up the hips. When you lean, you can get a little hip flexor stretch. Your core should be engaged as you come around to that hand. And you're gonna go on our feet, we're gonna go on an air squat to a punch. So we're gonna push back through the heels, reach. So now we're pushing the butt back, getting the quads engaged. And that punch overhead is not only simulating an overhead press, but as well, getting some core action in there and here we go back to the quad pull with a reach quad pull reach grabbing that toe if it helps you pick a little dot on the ground and focus on that dot 
to keep your balance. Trust me, it helps. It works. Stretch that core all the way down, all the way up. Really pulling. If you want to get too crazy, get a little lean with it. Next one, knee hug, second time through. Pull, pull, pull. Should be feeling a little bit looser as we get into the second round. Up to you as we get into that workout as you get the hang of each move and you're feeling it to focus on that quality over quantity. Next one, going into the inchworms again. Three more exercises right here, my friends, before we take a little rest, squeeze, down, down, down. Get those shoulders working. Squeeze. Don't forget to breathe, my friends. Last one right here, and then go right into spider steps. Nice and slow, controlled. Try to keep that butt up in the air to engage that core all the way through and on your feet into the air squat with a reach. <sighs> reach, nothing too crazy fast here. <sighs> Make sure you're getting a good twist, really engage that transverse plane. Working in all ranges of motion here to ensure longevity of the joints. And we got a little rest right here. Take a minute break before we go into 10 different exercises. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna go two rounds through one exercise, move to the second exercise. Catch your breath, get a drink. Mm. Gotta love the BCAAs. I added the creatine to my BCAAs because creatine is essential for not only muscle growth, but overall longevity. Creatine is actually something that we create in our bodies, but we just don't get enough of it. So a lot of times creatine gets the, a bad rep for, oh, it's gonna make me big and muscular. Well, it's actually really essential to build muscle, which in turn, burns fat, right? So the more muscle we build, the more fat we're gonna be able to burn over time. Let's get into it. We got our first one, jumping jacks. Try to get the heart rate going to start this thing. We're going 40 seconds. Staying on the toes of our feet. Remember to breathe. If you feel yourself at any time feeling a little out of breath, just breathe in through your nose slow, out through your mouth. <sighs> Staying on the toes of your feet, find a nice rhythm here. You got 11 seconds, here we go, 10 seconds. <sighs> rest, 20 second rest right here. Feeling good, feeling good. 20 seconds. We've got a two to one work to rest ratio here, which is really gonna benefit that kind of like Tabata style, high intensity workout to target burning fat, full body. Here we go, two, one, back into the jumping jacks. Here we go. Think about those shoulders moving in an overhead press movement. When they pull down, it's almost like a lat pull. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, the next exercise we're gonna go into 
is a pulse air squat to squat jump. So what that means is we're gonna drop down, push those hips back into a squat pulse. So pulse, pulse, jump. Here we go, let's do it. Pulse, pulse, jump. Nice and slow. Keeping that chest up nice and straight. Sitting back through the heels. If you can't do the jump, just doing the pulse squats through. Feel that burn, it feels good. And rest, 20 seconds. Believe it or not, that burn is gonna be helped with the BCAAs and the EAAs. Branch chain amino acids and essential amino acids. Your body needs them. Trust me, they're gonna help intro workout, long bike rides, whatever it might be for the case that you need to keep your body going. Here we go. Think about keeping those knees out. And rest, good. Whew. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that one. Mark it off the list, we're going into a lateral lunge on the right side. So, what do you think about a baseball player gliding out, sink into this back hip, push off the lateral side of that foot. Here we go. Up, out, come back. Use this to kind of catch your breath as well. Focus on that range of motion. Staying on the right leg here. The more you can sink into that back hip with your chest up. I promise the legs are almost over. And rest, 20 seconds rest. If you need a drink, grab a drink. Staying hydrated. That's another thing, these EAAs, BCAAs, they've got electrolytes in them too, which is only gonna help your hydration. Electrolytes are much needed in, in order for that salt to bind with our muscles. Here we go, back into a right leg. Focus on that breath. One of the best moves you can do to ensure you're working through all ranges of motion, planes of motion, to ensure longevity of your hips and the joints. Rest, you got 20 seconds, feeling good. You should be feeling that heart rate start to come down a little after those squat jumps and jumping jacks. I know it got spiked at the beginning, but that was on purpose to really trigger that fat burning state, kind of get our bodies into a metabolic state. Here we go. Left leg, reach out and come back to. Again, quality over quantity here. Glide out, sink into the hip, chest up, push off of that heel in that lateral side of the foot. Five seconds. And rest. 20 seconds here. 
Feeling good, feeling good. This is what it's about. You can do anything for 40 seconds. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, glide out. Breathe in, in, out, exhale. Five seconds, here we go, finish it out. Three, two, and rest, good. 20 seconds rest before the next exercise. We're gonna go into a push-up to shoulder tap. Pushing up into a high plank position, alternating, tapping those shoulders. Go with quality over quantity. Again, here we go. And push up, up, tap, Tap, trying to keep those hips as square to the ground as possible. Push up, tap, tap. Tap, tap. You're gonna feel your core really engage on those taps. Tap, tap. If you need to, widen out your feet just a hair. That's gonna ensure some stabilization through the core. Push, tap, tap. Tap. Tap, 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 and last one, and rest. Good, 20 seconds. Here we go, I might have gone a couple seconds over. No worries there. Getting the upper body flowing, feels good. Hopefully your core's engaged. Feeling that burn, feeling the burn through the shoulders. Here we go, two, one, and back into it. Push up, up. Tap, tap, make sure those hands stay directly under the shoulders, not getting too far away from you. Push, tap, tap. Tap, tap. If you need to go on your knees, that's okay. Focus it on quality. and rest. Solid job right there, my friends. No easy feat with the push-up. Two times through, going into our hand retractions here. So imagine a row, just like you're rowing a dumbbell. We're gonna be in that high plank position, pulling each hand back, triggering core stability and a little bit of back action. Really focus here on keeping those hips square to the ground. Stabilize that core. And what you don't realize, these kinds of exercises are building your six pack way more than you realize. Three, two, and rest, good. Oh yeah, those are one of my favorites. Feeling it in the back, feeling it in the triceps, core, everything's stable. Really feeling the heart working as well. Especially with this two to one work to rest ratio. And just like that, 20 seconds is up. We're going into our next round of pullbacks, hand retractions. Finish it out, three, two, and one, rest. Good, solid job right there, my friends. 
keep the hydration rolling. Our next exercise, we're gonna have an alternating Superman. So, you're gonna be on your back, find a nice position here, put that forehead in the ground if you can. You're gonna reach with one arm, opposite leg, come down, up, feeling a good squeeze through the lower back. Pause for a count of one at the top if you can. You're gonna feel that glute squeeze, that lower back squeeze, that's a good thing. Shoulders squeeze. Working our core. Our core comes all the way around. It's not just our abs. We gotta focus on that trunk stability as well through the backside, the posterior chain. Get those quads up off the ground and rest. Really focusing on here trying to get those quads a couple inches off the ground. If you can, focus on feeling that mind to muscle connection in your glute and that lower back, as well as the shoulders. Kind of using it as a rest time as well. Here we go, next one, same one, different round. Again, if you're not wearing a hat like I am, keep that forehead in the ground you'll be able to feel yourself connect, keeping that spine a little bit more neutral throughout the movement. <laughs> 10 seconds. <sighs> and rest, good. Really good. It's okay to feel a little bit of a stretch and a squeeze in that lower back. That's normal. A lot of times people will get a little concerned if they feel something in their lower back. But again, we're strengthening that lower back here because that's part of our core. Speaking of core, let's get into some flutter kicks on our back. Go hands under your butt if you need to at six inches, alternating. Otherwise known as scissor kicks. Pull those toes towards you if you need to. It might make it a little bit easier on you. If you want to make it harder, pull those hands out from underneath you. Should be feeling a nice burn. Here we go and rest. Heck yeah, as if that core wasn't already on fire. Feeling good, feeling good. It's all right to have your hip flexors feeling a little tight. We've been doing a lot of hip flexor, flexor activating work here. Catch your breath, here we go. Next set, six inches, pull those toes towards you and go. Driving that lower back to the ground, belly button to the ground, finish it out, and rest. Whew. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Feeling good, almost there my friends. We got two more sets, two different exercises before the cool down. Doing great, keep it up. You can do anything for 40 seconds, put your mind to it, stick it out, it'll be done before you know it. The next one we've got is a plank jack. On your elbows, I'm gonna move my water bottle so I don't kick it. Here we go, on your elbows, just like a jumping jack. Try to keep those elbows under the chest. If you can't do this position, go into a high plank, which is that same position we were in for the hand retractions. Ten seconds. Feeling those obliques, lower abs, feeling good. And rest. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nothing like feeling your abs on fire. 
can walk out of here with a six pack. Ah, gosh, that's tasty. Kind of gives me something to look forward to with the juicy watermelon. Here we go, back into it. Stand on those toes. Ten seconds, my friends. Here we go. And rest. One heck of a job right there. Before we go into laying on our back one more time, if you notice, we started everything on our feet, migrated to the ground, kind of working on everything. Chest, shoulders, back, core, obviously your legs. And the last one, we got a reverse crunch, starting at six inches, just pulling those knees to your chest. Control as you kick your feet back out to that six inches. Again, focusing on driving that belly button straight down to the ground, almost like your lower back is a suction cup to the ground, trying to stabilize that lower back. Finish it out, my friends. Here we go. And rest. Oh yeah, stretch it out. One more set, and we'll get into our five minute cool down, and you will have made it through. Whew. Five seconds of rest right here, back into the reverse crunches. Here we go. Hands underneath, and pull. Keep those shoulder blades off the ground. It's only gonna help you stabilize that core even more. Finish it out, my friends. 15 seconds left in this workout, and then we cool down. And rest. Heck of a job right there. Give it up for yourself. You should feel good, feel proud, wherever you are, in whatever space. We're gonna take a minute before we cool down. Sit here, enjoy it, get on your feet if you need to. Before we go down into our seal stretch, we're gonna go into five different movements for the cool down at one minute a piece. Really focusing on slowing down, breathing, to end the workout. The more you focus on the breath, the more you can be in tune with where you're feeling those movements and really get a deeper stretch. Honestly, when you breathe slow in through your nose and out through your mouth, you'll be able to feel your body kind of sink into these stretches just a little bit more. Same goes for any kind of movement. So, that said, I'm gonna keep drinking on my BCAAs, creatine, and EAAs. My V2X definitely was kicking in, feeling the burn, heart rate a little bit more. V2X is essentially a really good alternative for pre-workout, especially if you're looking for clean energy, pop it right in the morning when you wake up, focus energy throughout your day without any energy drinks or anything that give you the kind of that crash midday. This is gonna basically be a B-Lit that's patented. It's the... Uh, Terra Intelligent Dosing Technology is what it's called. And basically it releases over eight hours and you'll initially feel a burst of energy and then throughout the day, you're gonna feel more and more layers just kind of come like a second wind. So that's a great option if you don't like that, the jitters of a pre-workout. So that said, let's get into our cool down one minute here with a seal stretch. So pushing up into it. You can let those toes kind of flex backwards. I guess that would be extend backwards. <sighs> Breathing in through it, stretching the core. 
feeling the lower back squeeze a little. You can sink the shoulders like I just did. One minute here. Keep stretching. And we're gonna rock back into a child's pose. So kind of the opposite here. Butt to heels, tuck that chin, walk your hands straight out. You're gonna feel a good squeeze through, or stretch through the lats, arms, shoulders, kind of into that lower back. If you need to kind of push with your index fingers or just the tips of your fingers to push yourself back and then walk out even a little bit more. Feel yourself sink into it, breathe. come into it we're gonna go into a pigeon pose so high plank pull this knee through and just kind of walk it back let yourself fall down to the ground and just kind of come up feel that knee through that other hip flexor on the ground that's in that straight leg you're gonna sit here with that leg bent, you should be able to feel a really good stretch through the back of that glute, kind of into your piriformis, which is honestly one of the muscles that nobody thinks to stretch out that is always the root of the tightness in our hips. If you're watching on YouTube, which obviously that's where this is at, the piriformis is right back in here, kind of into that lower back, into this corner under that hip bone. It's where a lot of our muscles attach and originate from. We got about 10 seconds here. And we'll switch it to the other side. Four, three, two, one, and walk it back. Pull through, calmly come to the ground. You should be feeling like you're wrapping this thing up. Feeling good, catching your breath again, coming back to kind of that state of peacefulness after a good workout. <sighs> Got a minute. It's important to focus on these cool downs so that our muscles can have the time and the proper stretching after being worked in different ways in order to recover afterwards. <sighs> 20 seconds here. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And coming into it, our last one right here is just gonna be a sumo squat with a sway. So kinda come into this sumo squat, push the knees out with your elbows, keep that chest up. First feel this good stretch. You can kind of bounce with it if you want. And then I want you to rock from side to side, kind of on the outsides of your feet. Almost kind of like making a figure eight. You're gonna push up and out around those toes. Last 30 seconds of the day. <sighs> nice and slow here. Keeping the heels on the ground. And standing up to wrap this thing up. Really good job there. Whew. 
And that is a wrap, my friends. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate you completing this workout with me again. If you are at home, if you are in a park, wherever, maybe you're traveling, this is a great workout to mix in to get an effective full body workout. If you are at home and you wanna try this workout for fat burning and pro program it in, I would suggest going two, three, four times a week, probably every other day, best supplemented with some kind of strength training or this can also be a great form of cardio, right? So. We're kind of in that fat burning zone of that 30 minute range. So we're using our anaerobic system. We are taxing with the two to one work to rest ratio. So you, you, you saw it, you felt it, you felt the heart rate spike and then you felt us recover at the end. It's all programmed in there to be the most effective for you. With that said, I am gonna wrap my day up with a chocolate protein shake. IO way from Performix. It is my favorite protein to recover. It is ingredient optimized. That's what is the, the IO stands for. And essentially what that means is it's going to be absorbed in your stomach so much better and so much more effectively than any other protein that you're gonna try. It's truly one of my favorite products that I've ever had because when I drink it, you know when you, when you have a protein shake and you chug it, you feel really bloated afterwards, you don't feel good? Well, this protein not only tastes good, I really like the fruity cereal flavor as well. I'm gonna have chocolate brownie today. But when you drink it, you don't get that after effect of that bloat. And you're gonna get absorption with the protein. There's barely any carbs, barely any fats, barely any calories. Super good in a smoothie. So I'm gonna mix that up. I'm gonna get that in my system. I appreciate you watching. Have an awesome freaking day. I'll see you next Wednesday for another Workout Wednesday. Have an awesome freaking day. And don't forget to smile.